Game installs are out of control, and hard drive space is barely keeping up, even on the latest next-gen consoles. In this video, we're going to show you some of the biggest game installs of all time. Keep in mind that this video is a snapshot in time, and install sizes can and will change. Quick ground rules. Games had to be over 100 gigs, which included their DLC and high resolution texture packs. If you want to see more video game lists, including our top 10 games of 2020, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Let's get to it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. This game was, in my opinion, a once-in-a-decade Call of Duty title that did it all. Changed the look and feel of weapons, had clever map design in spades, boasted incredible post-launch support, provided the best take on Battle Royale, and I'm gonna say it, even had a great storefront that was free of loot boxes. But oh boy, were you in for a shock when you looked at your hard drive. On my PS4, this clocked in at 252 gigabytes. Thankfully, space-saving features have been added to the game more recently. You can now remove single-player, spec ops, and high-resolution textures. But now that Modern Warfare is more manageable, there's another Call of Duty game, which is why we're going to number two. Let's go, Bill. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This year we were excited to get next-gen consoles, and when an Xbox Series X arrived, we installed one of the newest playable games, only to find out that it ate up over a quarter of all usable hard drive space. At launch, it roughly broke down to 186.5 gigabytes for Cold War and another 80.7 gigabytes for Warzone so we could bring over our Modern Warfare guns. Now since then, Cold War and Warzone have been integrated. It looks like PS5 players have had it rough also, with some tweeting that their Cold War install sizes are hovering around 227.9 gigabytes. It looks like you'll be playing a lot more Call of Duty this year, because you really can't fit much else on your console. Medal of Honor Above and Beyond this game just made it onto our list having come out at the end of the year, and it did not disappoint. This VR title requires 340 gigabytes of free space just to start the install. So why isn't it at the top of our list? Well, it eventually unpacks all the assets down to a still whopping 177 gigabytes. For contrast, our GameSpot Game of the Year Half-Life Alex, also a VR title, only takes up about 70 gigabytes. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. Quantum Break. What happens when you aim to make one of the best looking video games of 2016 for Xbox One that includes environmental destruction, motion capture, and an entire TV show? You get 178 gigabytes with the TV episode pack and Xbox One X 4K patch installed. And this was at a time when your Xbox One's 500 gigabyte hard drive could only really use about 362 gigabytes of space thanks to the size of the operating system. Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition Final Fantasy XV featured a huge open world, road trips, real-time combat against iconic Final Fantasy monsters, chocobos, licensed Coleman camping gear for some reason, and even Assassin's Creed crossover DLC. You know what it also had? A massive installation size on PC. On Steam, it's listed as requiring 100 gigs of storage space, but the game is reported to have an 85 gigabyte install size with a 4K high resolution texture pack that brings it up to 155 gigabytes. Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hitman 2's base game on Steam starts at around 60 gigabytes, but rapidly expands as you download Hitman's original legacy stages. This is because Hitman 2 is really Hitman 1 plus 2 combined. Each of Hitman 2's large and highly detailed environments is a sandbox full of crowds, key characters going about their daily routines, and all kinds of events. Hitman 2 also has sniper assassin missions similar to Hitman Sniper Challenge. If you want all of that content installed, be prepared to download 149.62 gigabytes on PC. Even more interesting, the upcoming Hitman 3 will also support the previous two games' levels, so it might end up even more massive.
Microsoft Flight Simulator. If we were looking at total data involved, then Microsoft Flight Simulator would easily take the number one spot on our list. You couldn't fit this game on your PC now or any time in the near future. Flight Simulator streams from two petabytes of mapping data. That's 2,000 terabytes being used to construct planet Earth. With a draw distance of 370 miles and real weather data being fed into the game, kind of amazing that it all fit into a 127 gigabyte install on one of our office PCs. With the roster of aircraft set to expand and the possibility of helicopters on the horizon, we can imagine the install size will probably grow. All right, shoot. Halo Master Chief Collection. Next up, if you noticed a flood of data on your Xbox, you know what I did there, then you probably have the Halo Master Chief Collection installed. This title launched in 2015 and had a rocky beginning, earning a 6 out of 10 on GameSpot with online multiplayer that barely worked. It's since improved things substantially, and it's in a pretty good place now. The game had a 59 gig install with a 20 gig day one patch, and it only went up from there. More has been added to the collection, and an enhanced version dropped in 2020 for next-gen consoles. The install size is now clocking in at 125.9 gigabytes on one of our Xbox Series Xs with ODST and Reach installed. We all know what needs to be done. Get up close and personal with golf, put a bullet in his head, then maybe eat a sandwich. <laughs> Destiny 2. The next two games on this list are going to be appreciated for their large and also shrinking file sizes. Destiny originally pitched itself as a 10-year plan, and with Destiny 2 doing seasons instead of large expansions, it's looking like it might get there. The problem with a decade-long game, however, is that as content gets added, file sizes grow. This maxed out at around the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep expansion, which needed a reported 165 gigabytes just to install on PC. The turning point in install size was the recent Beyond Light expansion that required a full re-download of the game, but shrunk install sizes 30 to 40 percent, getting them to a more manageable 59 to 71 gigabytes. In order to do this, however, Bungie straight up deleted worlds from the game, so less file size, but at the expense of some content being shelved for now. Help me. Rainbow Six Siege. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege came out in 2015 and it's still going strong. The game added a huge number of operators, maps, weapons, and reworked some of its locations. They also finally got around to changing the Lord Tachanka. All that being said, the game previously came in at over 100 gigabytes on PC, which includes the Ultra HD texture pack. With the recent Operation Void Edge, those install sizes have shrunk to around a more manageable 70 gigs on PC. Now, who wants a sequel that looks just as good as the original 2014 E3 presentation? I can't be the only one. Good job, guys. Yeah. All right, I'll get her. When I started this project, I thought I'd be looking at massive games that have been around a long time, like World of Warcraft. But it turns out, not too surprisingly, that most of the large game installs happened recently. In future videos, I'd love to go look at the largest game installs relative to their time, like Wing Commander Price of Freedom with Mark Friggin Hamill that came out on six floppy disks. So if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. You have yourself a great day.